we consider ourselves like pioneers of the land. So coming to reclaim environmental heritage, connection with the land, and how to do that without being able to access credit. But when I talk about regenerative agriculture, certainly the land stewardship practices are important. Just as important are the cultural values. And when I think of that, I think about renewing, again, our ancestral ways of communing with the natural environment. We have grown things for farmers market and the local cooperative. We are trying to promote beekeeping as income and as sustainability in terms of pollination of crops. The question of climate change and the, the way how it is right now is based on a lot of greed and capitalism. So it's not giving back, it's just taking. That creates an imbalance, not um, promoting enough alternative energy sources, not planting enough trees, and not really caring for the natural resources. If we really want to solve the problem of climate change, we can solve it because we have the resources. The issue is the unequal distribution of the resources that relates to, say, agriculture. It's very hard for people of color to get the access for loans and grants to implement the things that are necessary to make the change. Small farming is very difficult business, right? And such a very um, important part of our nation's food system. Advocating for good policies, for access to funding, access to credit, for more equitable resources, Part of the vision of the farm is focus on the youth, black young people to get into farming, getting to overcome the negative propaganda about slavery as it relates to farming so that they can produce food for themselves and their families and appreciate yeah. farming as a career and as a way to move forward. And I hope that our future generations will benefit from our hard work.